Okay, my dudes. Today is a uh, a spicy one. Okay, you're gonna learn how to do maximum damage on Caitlyn in lane. And you might already say, "Wow, I know how to do maximum damage." You just auto attack QWE. Well, no, it's not that simple. All right, you guys are gonna be missing auto attacks. You're gonna be missing damage. Right? You're like thinking EQ is maximum damage. No, that's that's child's play. Okay, so uh, the format of the video is going to be. Uh, well, actually, I should say, by the time you're done with this, you should be able to do what we're about to do in this clip, okay? And the format is, I'm going to show you what it looks like, I'm going to show you how to do it, I'm going to show you situations that you should be careful of when you're trying to do it, and uh, yeah, and by the time um, you're done and you practice and all that stuff, you should be able to do this in-game every time, no problemo, okay? So, let's take a look. This is what it looks like, yeah? The combo includes headshot auto cancels okay so you must uh trap q net headshot auto cancel twice okay that's the full damage combo if you don't understand what is going on here i'm gonna play it again but you know if you if you don't understand what's going on here uh i'm going to uh show it to you okay uh i'll show you in the practice tool but you know uh you know here it is again right and uh, if you watch my streams you know that this thing is just everywhere okay i do this all the time all right so let me show you how to do that in game all right so um in order to do maximum damage combo it's w q double headshot auto cancel okay w q net headshot, double headshot auto cancel okay so this is what it looks like i'm going to teach you how to do it real quick right and then sure boom okay important parts to know are you are trapping let's say they step on a trap right then you can q and then go for it Let's say you're following up on your support who's stunning, right? You can just trap on the bind or whatever and then go for a combo. Easy, all right? Now, how do we actually do it, okay? So let's break it down a little bit. When you trap, you need to wait for the trap to go off before you Q. That way, if there's things in between you and the target, your Q will do maximum damage to trap reveal targets. If you read at the bottom of Pilt Over Peacemaker, that's what it says, right? And the second thing you need to know is how to headshot auto cancel. So I don't know what you're doing on this channel if you haven't seen a headshot auto cancel before, but basically this is a this is a normal attack on a trap target. Headshot auto cancel lets us do it immediately. And we do it by attack moving on the ground near your target, right? Near the trapped target, right? Trapped or netted target, right? Like that, easy, right? Okay, so you wanna do this while you're netting right after you net okay you need to learn how to do this otherwise you literally can't do this like that easy right and then put it all together trap something and then net right and then hit your auto cancel right when you net hit your auto cancel right after the net hits right so this is like you know this is what it looks like this part and then there's this part and you just put the two together like like so essentially right uh, you can even do, I mean, here's another example. Just on different targets, okay? So that's maximum damage combo. WQ, double headshot auto cancel. Except you do want to wait for your trap to go off. So I mean, if you want to like fit an auto attack in there, like trap auto attack and then Q, right? That's maximum damage combo. I guess you can fit an auto in there, all right? So let's go back to our practical examples. Okay, so here's some, uh, some things to kind of be wary about. Now you know how to do the combo, okay? The first we're going to talk about is minions all right they're gonna block your combo the net part especially you need line of sight for your net and the second one we're going to talk about is enemy counters uh they're gonna always aim you when you're trying to do your combo okay so um first let's talk about minions uh how can we make sure we're not getting screwed by minions and let me show you what it means to get screwed by minions okay so in this example oh let me turn off the audio real quick in this example uh as is coming out of teleport but we have a problem here. We're trying to combo, but we don't have a line of sight on him. And why don't we have line of sight on him? This minion's about to cuck us, right? Take a look at this, right? If we play the clip, you know, the minion is literally in front of us. So I can't net, right? So how do we solve this? Between the time you put the trap down uh, and before you're going to queue, you want to reposition. So trap, reposition, and then QE, right? So if we had gone down like this, easily could have gone, you know, line of sight here, right? Um, it's really important that you get line of sight. Otherwise, you know, you're going to end up with this example. This is a free kill. <laughs> Let me show you uh, what happens if you don't get line of sight, right? If you don't spend that time repositioning, you know, we fit the extra auto attack in, but, you know, because we fit the extra auto attack in, we didn't reposition and our E hit a minion, which is, you know, 
not what you want, right? You need the E to hit them. Um, so yeah, let's. I mean, you can you can take a look at this again, but it really is trap move upwards, trap move upwards. Oops, move upwards, and then Q and then E. You have a lot of time. I promise you. If you can get the trap off, you have a lot of time. All right. So take that time to reposition. Don't worry about fitting that extra auto attack in there. TBH, unless it's super free. Line aside, no minions whatsoever. Okay, and um. You know, let me kind of show you what that looks like. Your Q can actually also kill the minions, right? If you need line of sight, sometimes your Q can kill uh, range creeps, for example. I mean, I'll show you this example where our Q actually killed range creeps, okay? So um, you just saw the Q killed range creeps, but we still are kind of trying to move upwards to position, right? Um, this is kind of what you, what you, some things you can do, right? You can even use, you can even use flash if you want. Here, we're gonna have the same example. Uh, we actually even split apart the double headshot just to make sure that we're not hitting a minion slash flashing away from brand, right? Uh, couldn't quite get the double headshot, but you know, we still hit the net, which is, you know, kind of the important part. We got the trap headshot off and the net headshot off, right? Use your flash if you have to. Uh, and last but not least, we need to talk about once you can do this combo in your sleep, you need to make sure you're not getting, um, you know, focused by the enemy support. Well, not that not get focused, but don't get don't get uh, caught by the enemy support. Is a good way to put it. They're gonna go in on you when they see you try and go for some kind of combo, right? So uh, to bring back the misfortune example, right? We want to maximum damage combo on misfortune. We can do it in our sleep now. We don't have to think about it. Hopefully, right? Uh, you need to practice tool until you can do it in your sleep. Then we need to say, okay, you need to dodge bubble. That's it. Everything else is good to go. So as long as we dodge bub double, bubble, <laughs> bubble, we're good to go. And uh, why is this important? Well, it's because if you don't do this, you're gonna throw a game going greedy for the combo, right? In this example, we can easily WQ double headshot and this touch is donezo, right? He's gonna get ignited, he's gone. He can't even stopwatch, it's not time in the game for stopwatch, right? Uh, here's the problem though. If you don't reposition after you put the trap down, you're screwed. He flays you, he hooks you, I had no idea it was coming because I was so focused on getting the combo down that we actually just Omega lost the game here. This is the, we were zero and two, we could save the game right here. And uh, we screwed it up. Remember, reposition after you trap. Very important. Very, very, very important. Don't greed for like the instant Q or an extra auto attack. No, you need to make sure you're not screwing yourself over. You don't need that extra auto attack, okay? So take a look at this. If I had trap and immediately run like this, Right? Or maybe even like this, probably not that way. We probably want to get away from the hook, right? Or even, I mean, you could do this and flash the hook, right? That works too. And then we go for the combo. It would be much, much, much cleaner. And we would have saved the lane, right? Sorry, Ojama, if you're watching this, that's a my bad, all right? <laughs> I have to do the game. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, that's kind of uh, what you're looking uh, to prevent when you're going for your combo, all right? So first is you need to make sure you can do the combo in your sleep. Perfect example is this. And then once you can do this, make sure you're taking into account uh, their catch. Then, you know, what can they do to stop you? They're all in their catch, whatever, right? Zaya feathers or thresh hook or thresh flay or blitz hook or whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? So it's very much looking to do combo and do I need to dodge anything? And if you have to dodge something, but you can't, then you can just don't go for a combo. That's fine. You just go for a Q punish, I guess. All right. So yeah, let me know if this video helped. I hope that you guys can do it in your games once you've seen it. And uh, yeah, definitely let me know if you think you can fit extra damage in here. I know you can technically get machine gun Kaylin in here and fit that auto attack after the trap, but um, it's very unlikely you'll get machine gun Kaylin since there will be a lot of targets, you know, minions and other champions. So your machine gun might not hit the right guy. Uh, we don't really know how to direct machine gun Kaylin yet. Um, and you know, fitting the auto attack, like you saw, it could get you in trouble if you need to reposition, which 90% of the time I would say you need to reposition after trap. Okay. So, um, let me know, uh, if this helped and definitely send me clips of you guys doing some pog moments like this. Okay. I will see you guys, uh, next time. Peace.